just say this. I will never, ever, ever give the power of life and death to Adam. Man. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. So if this is the first time you're stumbling on my video, it's not a mistake, it's a miracle. <laughs> if this is the first time you're seeing my video, my name is Lola. I do content on hair, I do content on fashion, and I also do content on lifestyle, and this kind of content too. So if you want to join the family or, no, not if you, you should join this beautiful family by hitting the subscribe button down below. And turning on the notification bell and if this is not your first time seeing my face welcome welcome back so in today's video like the title state i will be doing a review in fact i will be ranting about the new movie anikula for it's basically a review but i'm going to be ranting because my heart is heavy it's full it's so full and I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm late to the party, I may be late to the party, but I can't keep this in my mind. I have to just spill it out. So without wasting much time, let us start reviewing this movie. I know many of you would have seen this movie already. It's a new Netflix movie, and it was produced by our own, the very own one and only, Kunle Afolayon. And it starred so many beautiful actors like Kunle Remy, Shola Shogawale, Bimbo Ademo, and many other beautiful ones so before we start this review i just want to give a little warning that there might be little bits of spoilers in this review to grant that i'm going to be doing but i'm sure many of you have seen it so sit tight for those of you that don't know about this movie anikula is a nigerian movie that came out on netflix a few days ago and it was produced like i said before by kunle afolayan so i'll just give a background story about the movie before i start like reviewing things in the movie this movie is about is majorly about a guy called Saru. He was a traveler, traveling. <laughs> That's what they do basically. So he was a traveler, and he was just looking for where to put down his base and all that. And he landed in Oyo State. He landed in Oyo State and met this very beautiful woman. He was just in Oyo State, like trying to find his base, where he met Shola Shogawale. What was her name in the movie? I'll go back and check. But he met her and she said she basically set him up there, made him like stay, set him up in business, housing, and all that. And then he started staying there. But one thing he did that ended his life, like he became a finished man. He decided to go into a relationship with the king's wife. The king's, not just the king's wife, the king's favorite wife, the king's most loved and youngest wife. And that was what costs that was the beginning of his misery so basically he was killed and resurrected with the help of i would say he resurrected with the help of his wife that's the king's youngest wife who later became his wife because she was the one that made sure he stayed alive and they moved to another town and started living their life there where he became a big man because of his wife again but that's just basically the story. I don't want to say how it ended, just in case you have not seen this movie. So the first thing I'm going to be saying about this movie is, I actually love, I'm um, for a costumier, I'm a costumier, yeah. I'm into fashion, basically. I actually love the costume for this movie. Like, everything was on point. They got the whole costume from the hair to the clothes to the surrounding. Everything was on point. I'm going to give them like a 10 over 10 for that one. They tried, no cap. And next thing I'm going to be talking about is the acting. I may not be a pro in acting. I, I'm, I'm an actor, everybody that knows me. But I may not be a pro at it. But if you see good acting, you know good acting. And this movie had good acting. Like, they had beautiful acting. You can't even deny that. Everybody killed their own. Someone that even drew my attention and made me really impressed was the um, queen, the, the princess, yes. The princess and she from what i saw the backstory she's kulia falayon's daughter his biological daughter and this movie is her first movie she has never acted before so this is her first tv appearance her first movie and she killed it she she killed it i can't even deny that so back to the matter let me start ranting in this movie first of all there have been i've been seeing a lot of controversies online who was wrong, if it's Saru that was wrong, or if it's Arulake as the king's youngest wife that later became Saru's wife. 
they've been saying who is wrong, is this person wrong, is this person, is this person wrong. Everybody has been picking sides. And I don't blame them because if you ask me, I'll say the both of them have their faults. But personally, disclaimer, everything I'm saying is based on my personal opinion. So nobody should enter my comment section and drag me. So personally, I feel like um, Arulake had faults by leaving her husband. But then again, she wasn't happy. She wasn't happy in the palace, obviously. That's why she had to leave. But Saru, Saru's eyes. You see, she, she left your sugar mommy and went to King's wife. Of all people. And then, moving forward, we could see in the movie how his greed ended him finally. He was a greedy person. Because I don't see the reason why you were not enough. Your wife was not enough with, for you, rather. Right? That was what I'm not supposed to say. But other than that, I feel like he has so many faults in this movie. But then, you guys, did you see the scene where um, Arulake pursued that bed that was supposed to take him back to the grave and picked up the thing, the is it God, God, or what they call it, that little thing that had the power of life and death and gave it to him? Hell, let me just say this. I will never, ever, ever give the power of life and death to Adam. Man. <laughs> That's me. I'm not going to pick up the power of life and death in my hand and give it to a man that will still serve me breakfast either hot or cold. That was one mistake I feel like she made. But then again, they said the woman is supposed to be submissive. She saw him as a king. But at the end of the day, he showed her Pepe, Cameroon Pepe. But then again, as they always say, love conquers all. So it was love that made her do what she wanted to she didn't do what she did. But I just love how it ended for him. I love how she let me not spoil it for you, but I love how it ended for him. So if I'm going from, like I said, from costume for this movie, I'm giving them a 10 over 10 from the cinematography. I'm not a cinematographer, but I, I loved what I watched. So I'm going to give them a 10 for that. The acting, I'm definitely giving them a 10. Even though the storyline, there were some loopholes in it that I don't really want to portray, but there were some loopholes in it that I just saw. But aside that, the movie was a beautiful movie and I recommend that you watch this movie. I'm actually going to give this movie overall, I'll give this movie a 9 over 10 because I can't give it, my one is for me. I'll give this movie a 9 over 10 because it was actually a good movie, I'm not going to deny that. So if you are thinking of watching, you are watching this video and you have not seen the movie, and you are thinking of seeing this movie, then you should see the movie. I think you should see it. There are so many, there are so many interesting parts in the movie. But I think one part that was really, really, really controversial for so many people was the naked scenes, the nude scenes. People were like, it wasn't necessary. Let me know what you think. Do you think, my Nigeria, shall you say it was not necessary? I feel like they do whatever they have to do to make a movie beautiful. And they did whatever they had to do. That's all I would say. Would it have been beautiful without the nude scenes? Yes. Was it still beautiful? Yes. So that's all I have to say about that. So aside that, you should see the movie. It's a great movie. You would learn from the movie. It actually has moral stories. Especially men, people that are greedy. Go and watch that movie and you will change and see. So thank you for staying to the end of this video. I hope I've been able to rant about this movie and not confuse you for that. So if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give my video a big thumbs up. It helps my videos. Yeah, if you give my video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to drop a lovely comment. Tell me what you think or what you thought about this movie and what you would rate this movie and don't forget to subscribe very important thank you so much see you in my next video until then keep winning <laughs>